there are several ways of installing WinPython and Visual Studio Code together in a Windows computer. This is the way I recommend you to follow. First, have a look at the hard drives of your computer to see that to select a drive that has plenty of free space, at least about two gigabytes of free space. So I'm going to create a directory here called Python. That is where I'm going to install WinPython. So go to that directory. So this is where I'm going to install my uh, Python distribution. So now we go to a web browser and search for Win with Python and I go to the downloads. Um, as of 2022, we are going to use uh, Python version 3.9.10. So um, first I go to the downloads here in Python 3.9, so switch. So we are here home in Python 3.9 and the latest version seems to be in this particular version, the latest subversion seems to be 3.9.10. So that's what we are going to download. You can see that this download is rather big. So um, click on this file to download it. And it will start downloading in a few seconds like that then leave it to download and complete meanwhile we also need to download visual studio studio code this is a free and open source editor that we can use to edit python programs so visual studio code download windows and in this particular method we use the zip version not the installer but the zip version so windows the zip version 64 bit that is what we are going to use click on that and it will also download once you have finished download these two files then you go ahead and install them this is how you do that so so we are going to install this in c python directory and our files are downloaded here. So you can see I have downloaded them ahead of time. So you can see here the two files. So first we install them in Python in our computer, double click on the file, run, and then make sure that you extract it into C Python directory. It will extract the files like that. It will take a few um, minutes to do it. So if you go to that directory, now you can see it is installing a folder like this. That is where you have the uh, Python distribution installed. Okay, so installation has finished. So when you go into this directory, you can see this bunch of files. Now, you may notice that there is a file here called VS Code. If you click on that one at the moment, nothing will happen. The reason is for to save this space, uh, WinPython does not distribute the uh, files of uh, VS Code. We have to download and install them separately. How we do that? You go to this directory called T here, simple T. And inside this, we have to create a directory called VS Code. New folder, VS Code. So inside that, so you can, for convenience, you can copy this and then go to our VS Code zip file that we have downloaded earlier then say extract to 
displays c python vs code right now we have completed our installation of um, win python so if you go back to the top level and click on vs code now you will see that it will open the visual studio code program properly so that means it's working and if you want to open a python command prompt you click on this one so here you can use python one plus two like that there are several other files here for example you have the other editor that comes together with python spider that is also a great editor you can use that one and then there is a control panel where you can which you can use to install uh, different libraries if you like and so on so once you do this actually if you want to bring this to another place for example when you are reorganizing your computer you can simply copy this and paste it somewhere else or you can copy this into a usb thumb drive to copy it to another computer so this is a very portable way of having python on your computer so when you want to start python you go to c python folder here go inside that and then click on either command prompt or vs code or spider like that the reason why we are doing this is that in modern uh, windows environment without you even knowing you might get several python versions sometimes when you install the gis software it comes with the python version and some people install things like anaconda um, if you use a data mining program that may come with the private uh, python version so all these python versions can be confusing so that is why for the beginner i very strongly recommend to have this kind of completely independent python installation in the name of winpython